in between seasons two and three, we haven't all been together, but some of us have been at war with Spain and some of us haven't. Yes. I've been at a monastery for four years, <clears throat> finding peace. And then we get reunited in the yeah. first episode of season three. So it's been a long time since we've seen each other. What, four or five years or something? Yeah, about four yeah. or five years. Show yourself! Aramis. Basically, these three fought the whole of Spain. <laughs> <laughs> and won. <laughs> we, we were the only three survivors left they, of a four-year war, basically. <laughs> the whole country. Paris has fallen into a state of disrepute in our absence. And so we are back to uh, help her back onto her feet. <clears throat> There's sort of three baddies this year, and I suppose in the past you had the Cardinal and Rochefort last year, and they were both quite kind of public figures in the three baddies this year, all kind of quite sort of lurky. They all sort of spend a lot of time coming into light from darkness. The Red Guard have kind of have kind of taken over a lot more. Mm. They've become a much more elite and powerful force. And uh, um, Governor Ferron, who's played by Rupert Everett. There's a new captain of the Red Guard called Georges Marchaud. Paris has come into disrepair and, and the, the Red Guard are just kind of like using Paris and its people as their own little game, really. Matthew McNulty plays yeah. Grimmer, who's kind of the killer, the real, the more the ruthless one, you know. <laughs> Aramis and, and, you know, the Queen, obviously, they've got a world in between them. And, you know, there's a threat of the Dauphin. I mean, you, you know, it's treason if France finds out. So that's always part of that story, which is, you know, the stakes are very high. And he's a grown-up boy now, and Aramis, I, I haven't seen him since going to the monastery. When I returned to Paris, it felt like four years had passed in a moment. Now it feels like forever. I think with Sylvie, it's very complicated and it's impractical. It's, um, and they don't quite know what they want from each other. They, they, it takes them a long time to, to, to be exactly what the other one wants them to be and still be true to who they are. You're going to arrest me? Who taught you how to handle that? I taught myself. The relationship with Constance, we got married at the end of season two. There's the ring. Didn't see each other for the four years that we were at war. They get reunited after the war in episode one of season three. Constance is now uh, like kind of one of the, the heads of the garrison. The garrison needs to eat. Why exactly do we need a cadet guard to bring in provisions? You've been away from Paris a long time. It's huge now, isn't it? I mean, yeah. it really is. But uh, we have to mention Dave Arrowsmith, our production designer, because he is, um, this yeah. is an extremely yeah. skilled man. Extreme I mean, job. He's, he, this guy is incredible. His vision for, you know, what this world should look like mm. is, it's, you know, it's un un uncomparable, isn't it? It's so easy to, for, I think, for us to suspend our disbelief. It's amazing, yeah. I think this season is the biggest out of the three that we've done. There's big set pieces towards it, explosions and this and the stuff, you know, it's kind of like the episodes as a whole. I think this is the biggest, the biggest series in general. Yeah, I think the whole world they've set up with all the other, with all the characters around us, it's just, I think, maybe seems like a much more brutal world. There's, mm. you know, more moments where the four of us are together and I know well, that's what fans respond to and you get those genuine moments where the banter or when arguments is a few where we go up against each other and I think those yeah. moments breathe a lot of life into the show. It's more of a dysfunctional family, I think, mm. this year. We get along, we don't get along, we laugh. Well, yeah. we're all one. Yeah, all for one. All for one.